Howdy guys, Cub here. Welcome to Snapshot 18W11A. In this week's Snapshot, we have a new mob called the Drowned. And as you can expect, it's a zombie that has drowned. So you can see here if I actually make my way up to the surface here and then spawn in a zombie, you'll see that zombies now will make no effort to get out of water and they'll just slowly sink to the bottom and after a little while, they won't take any damage. They will simply turn into a drowned zombie. So if we just give it a second here. There we go. Yep. So that one just changed. That one changed. And there we go. Yep. So yeah, those zombies just all turned into drowned zombies. A couple more things about the drowned. They can actually spawn in oceans and in river biomes. There's also a baby variant, as you can see right there. And occasionally they will spawn with tridents. Now, they can rarely drop tridents. It's about a 5% drop chance. And then you get an additional 1% per level of looting on your sword. If you kill him with loading sword. So let's see if we can get a trident from this guy. We did not. Let's see if we can get a fishing rod from this guy. We did. Nice. So yeah, they can occasionally drop what they spawn with. And they also can rarely drop gold ingots, as you can see here. So a couple quick notes with the Drowned. First of all, their loot is not final. There is allegedly a super secret item coming very soon, so we should see that in some of the future snapshots. As far as what these guys can do, they move slightly slower than the player in water. Let me just go ahead and switch to survival game mode. And you will see, yeah, the ones that hold the trident, those guys actually have a ranged attack, as you just saw right there. They can actually throw the trident at you. As you can see, yeah, and they actually start to fight each other if one hits the other with the trident. And yeah, there's a new death message as well. Uh, yeah, your player was impaled by drowned. That is the new death message here in this snapshot. So in addition to the ones that carry tridents, the ones that don't carry tridents, if I go into survival mode, also have a melee attack. So yeah, you can see that. And they can swim, as you can see here. They're, like I said, they're just slightly slower than the player. So they can't actually follow you up, so you see that you can swim up and down and they will still get to you and attack you. One important note is that while the drowned mob will spawn on its own, and also will spawn when zombies drown, just like this, as you can see they make no attempt to make it to the surface here, that doesn't apply to things like zombie villagers or husks. Those guys will still bounce around at the surface of the water and try to prevent themselves from drowning. A couple more things about the Drowned Mob. The Drowned Mob is actually an undead mob, meaning that it will actually burn during the daytime. So, yeah, since it's undead, it burns during the day. However, at night, if I go ahead and switch this to night, and then go to survival game mode, at night, the Drowned Mob will actually track the player, and will actually come onto land, and, yeah, pose a threat to players on land. Because, yeah, obviously it doesn't burn. They can, yeah, both throw tridents from the water and also attack you by simply coming onto land and meleeing you. We also have new coral plants this week. We have some blue coral fans, which look like this, so you can see the difference between the coral plant and the coral fan. We also have the pink coral fan, the purple coral fan, which you can see better against this. Then we have the red coral fan, yellow, and that is it for the coral fans. Now, these things don't yet spawn naturally, but you can presume they'll probably be added in the near future. Also, it's worth noting they can't be placed on the tops or the bottoms of blocks, only on the sides. So you can only place these in certain locations. Also new this week, we have shipwrecks. So shipwrecks can be found in oceans or in beach biomes. And you can see this ship is actually turned on its side. So it like keeled over and there's a big hole in the hull here. If we go on inside, we can usually find something like this, a chest. And if we open this up, we got some goodies in here. We got some diamonds, some iron, and some iron nuggets. And, of course, you can have other stuff in here as well. For instance, you can get, like, paper, poisonous potatoes, TNT. You can also get some treasure maps in some of these chests inside the shipwrecks. So those are shipwrecks now in the game. And just to show you guys, here's another variant of the shipwreck. So you can see this ship is much more intact than the previous one. So it does sort of vary how damaged they are. And if we go ahead and just make our way into here, into the shipwreck, if we can, please. There we go. Yeah, you'll see 
Here's some other loot that can be found in these chests. So actually quite a lot of loot in that chest right there. And there may be another one. Yeah, it looks like there's another one over here. And yeah, you see, yeah, buried treasure map, some books, some paper. So quite a variety of loot that can be seen in these shipwrecks. There's also a new keyboard shortcut this week. If you hit F3 plus C, it'll copy your location to the clipboard. So then if you come to another location, and then let's say do Control V to copy, you can see it automatically types in your teleportation coordinates and your rotation and teleports you to exactly where you were previously. So that's also very useful. So guys, that is going to be it for me today. A new mob and some new shipwrecks to explore. Very interesting stuff. As always, leave your comments in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Cub. Goodbye.